just that you and, you know, you and Jake and, and Carib all express the same kind of dedication, and obviously spending time in a little burg as dull as this one must be kind of hard for people that excel in critical situations, and yet you and Kara show up right around the same time. I mean, you gotta wonder, right? If you think I, um, I've got some secret agenda, you're wasting your time. So you really are on just a goodwill mission for the yeah. Miranda Center. Yeah, yeah, I'm all about goodwill. And the fact that uh, the guy that whisked my brother's ex-wife away from him shows up <laughs> in the same town at the same time in the same hotel with adjacent rooms with her is just pure coincidence. What, what difference does it make? You know, Kara and I will be long gone soon enough. Oh, so you are leaving again. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Cool. You going back to Mexico? If they need me there. Hmm. You know, I did some uh, some work there not too long ago. Really beautiful country. Uh -huh. Yeah, I doubt you were anywhere near Juarez. <laughs> Juarez? You can't, you're from Juarez? Yeah, a few miles away. Huh. It's not so beautiful. Drug dealers run the streets. And you'd come back with a lot more than a bandaged hand if you came back at all. Yeah, it's probably true. Sounds like hell, I'm sorry. I can understand why you'd want to get back to help them, you know, if I could make some kind of contribution. Oh, to the cause. brother, if you're trying to bribe me to get Kara to get out of here, you don't have to worry about it. Kara can't stay in one place for too long. If I know her like I do, she'll be on the next plane out of here. I have been thinking about our time in the field a lot lately. You have? Yeah. Uh, for some reason, all these memories have been coming up, and I, I don't know exactly why that is. I'm sorry, I'm not really into the whole stirring business. Except when it comes to putting sugars in your coffee, you still like it with five packets. I, well, truth is I've been trying to... Cut down? Because you said that every cup you drank our whole marriage. Our whole marriage. Wow. I didn't... I'm... No, you're not doing anything. You're just trying to recruit me, so go ahead. There isn't a doctor out in the field who can do what you did. And I'm not talking about just your skill. The way that you are with people. Your passion. Hey, I loved every single minute of what we experienced in the field. I think my favorite part was seeing people's faces that had never even seen a doctor before and taking away their pain or bringing a life into the world. Wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for us. I honestly think that it was probably my most joyful, satisfying experience I've ever had in my life and in my career. You can go back. And when I came here, after that, I felt lost. I felt like my life was meaningless without all those people who needed me and without you who needed me. But then I found my passion. Yeah, I can, I can see that. This is a good place no, with no, good yeah, people. No, I'm not talking about my career. I'm talking about I found my passion in Amanda. She needed me. I needed her. I helped her out of a very messy situation. It's a long story. We fought like crazy to be together. And we have a beautiful little child who's living proof that it was all worth it. And I know that my mission is, um, you know, probably pales in comparison to what you're doing. But to me, it's just as important. I'm happy for you. That's all I've ever wanted. Right. You're happy for me. It's the truth. I'm just trying to protect myself. And I do not want to use this pregnancy to get between Ryan and Greenlee. That is not a place I want to go. That's a smart choice. Yeah, it is. And I'm not trying to make this any harder. You're just being protective. I get that. You know, I've spent most of my life answering to men and what they want. My father, Henry. 
Ryan's not like them, but this time, I am not going to let that happen. Look, I'm sure the last thing that you want to do this holiday season is celebrate, you know, but I'm sure you also want to make sure the boys have a really nice Christmas. Yes, I do. So, so then, let us help you put something together. Us? Yeah, we'll get a tree, we'll put up some stockings, something. All right, you know what, I can do that. Why don't you um, check your calendar and I'll see what day you can come over and join us. Okay. Just don't bring Greenlee. Do you know why I was called down here? Oh, I believe it's because the readings on David's monitor are yielding some unusual readings. Unusual how? Well, come inside, I'll show you. He doesn't seem any different. Well, looks can be deceiving. Since you came into the room, his heart rate is elevated. Is he still in a coma? He is. And there's no telling when he'll come out of it. But something is definitely going on in everything. You know you're probably pushing away the one person that you need more than anybody else right now. There's nothing Greenlee can do to help me. She's torturing herself over what happened. You know that. Funny, tortured was the last thing I saw when I walked in here. Two of you smiling and holding hands and happy. We are. We're happy to be together, Kendall. But, but we're just, it just kills us. It kills us that you're suffering right now. And then don't make it any worse. And don't look at me like that. I know that it's wrong and irrational and maybe even selfish to exclude her. But every time I see Greenlee with you, it reminds me of how I will never hold my husband's hand again or wake up in his arms or curl up next to him or spend another vacation with him or Christmas or New Year's. Zach's plane went down, I was there too. So do you feel that way about me? You and I share a son. If we didn't, I wouldn't want to spend a second more with you either. So you have no idea what caused his heart rate to elevate? No. Uh, could be an involuntary response. Or he might be waking up. He might be aware that I'm, that I'm in here. That's very possible. Okay, so now that I'm here, what am I supposed to do? Hospitals obligated to alert next of kin when there's been any change that may result in that happening. I gotta go check on another patient. Are you there? Can you hear me? I came from seeing Kendall. She can barely look at me. I am trying with everything in me to put you and the lie that was our marriage behind me. But know that I never really can because of Zach. Because of what happened to him, I will never, never be free of you. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you're trying to tell me by making your heart go faster? Are you trying to tell me that I'll never be able to walk away from you? That you'll never let me go? Someone get Dr. Hubbard! Hurry! Doris. Mexico. Sorry. Um. Uh. I wish you nothing but happiness, and I get it. You don't want the job. 
And you know something else? If you ever have another job offer, pick up the telephone. Okay, don't just show up. Don't start chatting with my wife. Don't come here and start playing now our memories, okay? Because I, I don't need not, it. I didn't do that. That's doctors not what Without I did. Borders what? is so desperate now to recruit a doctor, you got to make a house call. Is it possible, Kara? Is it possible that this has nothing to do with a, a, a job offer? It's got everything to do with us. Is it possible? You, Can you, you just say no, that? We moved on from that, okay? And I think we should just do that right now. Just forget that I showed up here, that okay? Forget so that I offered you the job. You're miserable in thing. our marriage. You couldn't come to me. You didn't have the decency to talk to me and say how you were feeling and what you were doing with your life and this guy Griffin. What was? Who? How long did you know this guy Griffin? How long? How long were you together? Did you know him before we were together? Long before. She's known Griffin ever since her mother brought her home from the hospital. The truth is, Griffin's not Kara's lover. He's her brother.